The E1 UV printer from Eufy Make showed up a few weeks ago and I have been putting it through its paces behind the scenes like hours every day. And today I want to give you an honest first look, a few projects I've tested and what stood out to me so far, and a couple of things you'll want to keep in mind if you're considering this UV printer for your shop. Now this isn't my full official review yet because I am still working on that because it takes me so many hours, but I will release that video this week hopefully. So let's get to it, one of the first things I printed on this was a textured T-Rex image on a ceramic magnet. I wanted to see how well the 3D texture feature would actually work and it came out so dang cool. I mean just looking at the definition and detail in this, everyone I showed this to absolutely loved it. I have been getting a lot of questions if this is hard. Guys, this isn't going to break or chip or anything else. It is on there pretty good. Now, what about the ink cost? This T-Rex print used about 5.8 millimeters of ink, which worked out to be roughly around $2.49 for the cost. So if you were to take these and flip them for a profit, I mean, I know some people would sell them cheap, but I would probably sell these around $15. And being able to print directly onto metal, ceramic, and powder coated materials opens up a lot of possibilities if you do custom work like I do, especially if you have a laser. I have an F1 Ultra behind me, and I am going to be using this machine hand in hand because I already have an established business. Now moving on, I didn't want to show this in this video because it was one of the cooler images I did. I mean, I did a lot of cool images, but this is one of the heavier prints I ran, and it was a religious textured image. And this came out amazing. Now this print alone used 54.87 millimeters of ink, which comes out to roughly $23.58 just in ink cost. Guys, I'll be honest with you, that's a little pricey. So when you start doing bigger, thicker prints like this, the ink usage definitely adds up. And it's something to keep in mind depending on what kind of work you are doing. So is this a deal breaker for you? Let me know below, but I do have more thoughts for you in my official review. Now, speaking of ink, Eufy Make uses a proprietary cartridge system. Each cartridge has a built-in chip that ties it to the printer. That means you can't refill them yourself or use third-party inks. It keeps their print quality consistent. It's something to be aware of if you're used to refilling your own tanks on other machines. But like I said, other machines out there are double, triple, and quadruple the price of this. So the balance may work out, but like I said, I do have more thoughts on this in my official review. But there are some early things that caught my attention. The dual lasers and camera preview work really good. I had my doubts, but I will give Eufy Make credit. The way that the autofocus system works on this with the laser, it works extremely well. I didn't run into a hiccup whatsoever. And another thing that I want to give credit to them on is the rotary attachment. It's probably the best I've used. Now to be transparent, when I say the best I've used, I am comparing this to lasers, uh, but this right here, the autofocus was amazing. You can see with this B-roll right here, it just autofocused, but this thing just worked great. Another thing cool to point out right quick, which is all over the marketing for this machine, is the jet clean system. This means that it's like basically maintenance free. Compared to other high-end machines, you have to do a lot of manual cleaning. So Eufy Make said they didn't want that. They wanted like a really good experience. So that's something cool that's kind of adding into the ink cost there, I think, if you ask my opinion. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. If you plan on printing a lot of thick 3D textures, your ink cost will go up compared to flat prints. It's something worth knowing before jumping in, especially if you plan on doing heavily textured projects. Now, one thing to note here is that the white ink will run out before any other ink cartridge because white is basically in every other color. So if you do get this, I would probably order an extra white. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens with the ink situation from what I'm seeing with other people, but at the end of the day, I really don't think it's a deal breaker, especially if you are going to be making money or if you are going to start a side business with this. It does take money to make money. So if you're doing raised and textured print, you can charge a premium price because you are offering a premium product, or at least that's what I coach all my clients with that come to me asking me about laser pricing. Now I will throw up a graphic right here, what Eufy Make says that you can make 
make on this, which I do agree with this right here because I have done this style of work with my lasers. So this is something to keep in mind as you make money, you will have money to replace the ink and everything else that goes on with this machine. If you already know you want to check this out, I dropped the Kickstarter early bird link in the description. Now this specific link helps support the channel if you use it, but no pressure at all. I just want you to have all the information before you make any decision. Now my personal affiliate link should go active April 29th around 7 p.m. So if you decide to check it out, thank you for waiting until it's active. It truly supports the obscene amount of hours that I've put into this and I can't thank you guys enough. So like I said, the full review is coming out soon. I'll break down the ink cost even more, some maintenance and more things in a highly polished digestible video without the fluff. The video will be designed to teach you how to use this machine fast and give you everything that you need to know without all the extra details that weigh you down. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to catch that when it drops. And I know lately there's been some talk about creators being just salesmen when we go to air this type of videos on our channels. Well, I want to tell you guys something. That's not what I'm about. My goal is simple, to actually help you make smart choices with your time and your money. Whether you end up buying this or not does not change that for me because at the end of the day, I want you to get value from this video. I'm not just up here trying to peddle stuff to get money. Like I love doing this stuff right here. And I hope that you found value in this video. And if you do, hit a like and send this to a friend if you're thinking about buying this and see what they think. I'll see you later. Take care.